In our previous video, we talked about direct link queries. And what we did is we built a user or a query that gave us our user stories from a specific iteration and any of the test cases that were directly linked to that user story. But there's a use case that shows one of the limitations of the direct link query, and that use case would be this. Let's say I wanted to show all of my test cases that belong to a specific epic. Well, the issue is, is that this direct link query only goes one level. And it's not common to take your test cases and link them directly to an epic. Instead, it's more common to go ahead and link your test cases directly to a user story. So how do we solve this? Well, one solution would be to start linking your test cases directly to your epic and then relating them to your user story. But a more elegant solution is to continue linking them to user stories and use a tree query to find out what epics have user stories inside of them that also have a test case underneath. So let's go ahead and solve that use case by building a tree query. And in this, we're going to go ahead and specify the top level work item, which in our case is an epic. And we want to specify the bottom level work item that we want to get to. And so we want to get to our test cases. And what this is going to do is it's going to tell us exactly how we go from epics to test cases and show all of the results for epics and then show which ones have test cases underneath of it. Now the type of tree we want is a parent child and we'll get into this in a second. So by running our query we can see that we're looking for epics that somehow arrive at a test case. Now the query by very nature is going to match the epics first so it'll give us a list of all of our epics that are specified at the top here. If we wanted epics from a specific iteration it would filter this list down to epics only from a specific iteration. But then it's going to show us any of those epics that contain test case work items by looking at all of the different ways that we get to that test case. Now, this is an easy tree to understand, and the best way to do this is to always start with which work item is at the very top and which work item is at the very bottom. And a tree query becomes very useful if you're going to show something like a document and you want to drag work items into that document, you could do so by building a tree query and dragging the entire tree into a document. And it's also incredibly useful for building horizontal traceability matrices, which allow you to visualize this entire decomposition of your project or your iteration or whatever work items you specify.